Hey, my thrifty friends, what is up? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Today, I am coming at you with a video. This is my five top reseller cleaning hacks. These are all things that I do currently that I use and techniques in my business that have really made my life easier. Now, I am kind of a lazy reseller. Yeah. I hate to tell you guys, but I don't like to pick up items that I got to put a lot of work into. I'm looking for the easiest way to get things clean, to make them kind of, you know, like sellable. Today, let's go over all of these. I'm going to kind of show you how I do it as well. First item that we're going to clean are a pair of dirty sneakers, and I have the perfect pair. These are Amica. She just brought them home from school, wore them to a track meet last week, and they are trashed. We're going to go through the steps and freshen shoes up. Now, this is a worst case scenario. I don't think I'd ever pick up shoes that are this dirty, but sometimes I do pick up shoes that need a little bit of a cleaning. First thing you want to do is pull out the laces in the shoes. Once you've pulled out the laces, I usually stick them in a bowl with some soapy water. I like to use Dawn dish soap and OxyClean. I find this works really well. If I feel like they're perma stained almost i might even put a little bit of bleach into it just to really get them nice and white next i'm going to fill up my sink in the bathroom with nice warm soapy water i like to use dawn dish soap and oxyclean in here and i literally just like flip the runners over place them in the water and submerge them i like to just let them soak let them get all the grime out. If I have to, if there's like leather, I may even use some of this pink stuff. I've talked about it before. It really cleans things up good. And you can also use this on like pots and pans, your stove, countertops, like everything. This is some magical stuff. Usually I'll do that. I'll let them soak in the water. And once they soak overnight, the next day, I just kind of take a little bit of a brush. I'll make sure all the dirt and everything has been released from the shoe. And then I like to give them a really good rinse. I'm going to use cold water because I find cold water is just a really good way to rinse things out without creating more suds and soap. Once I've rinsed them out, I'm going to put them to dry. And when I put items to dry, I usually put them with the heel side down. This way, anything that's kind of like soaking through that might be discolored is going to kind of run out. I have had times where it like the water is just kind of dirty inside. So you want to make sure that you're rinsing these out really, really well before you dry them. Once those are dry, they're good to go. Take the shoelaces, give them a good rinse and lace them through the shoes. It's that simple. I like things that I can just kind of set up and walk away from that aren't going to take a pile of my time. Next item that I find myself revitalizing a lot are dusty shoes you know when you pick them up and there's just like they've been sitting in someone's closet or at someone's front door and they just have that like sediment all over them first step that i like to do is i will use these boot rescue wipes you can order them off amazon i'm going to put a link down below to all the products i'm talking about i'm sure you can grab these at like walmart and your local kind of grocery stores but if you're lazy like me and you want to order them online just hit that. I really don't care where you buy these products. I'm just telling you, this is what I use. If you want an easy link, click on the link below. So these rescue boot wipes I've grabbed off Amazon. I also grabbed like a multi-pack and this was selling at Costco. I think it was like $17 Canadian for all these different types of wipes. I find them really handy. And if I'm prepping shoes, a lot of times I'm going to prep them in a batch and crack one of these open and use this wipe on like four or five pairs of boots. Now, once I've cleaned them up, if I notice there's any like scuffing or marks, then I'm going to pull out my Doc Martens Wonder Balm. This stuff is magical. I've had it for, I think I bought this like the first month I was reselling and I'm going to show you the inside of it because there's so much left. Look how much is left in there. I think I've like maybe, maybe used half and I use this stuff on everything. I will use it on leather belts. I'll use it on shoes, on purses, anything that needs to be kind of spruce stuff that's leather. I love this stuff and it doesn't leave it like sticky. I've used other products where it kind of leaves like a film or like a stickiness on the purse or shoes. I find this stuff doesn't. It works really, really well. All right. Third item that we're going to talk about today is small stain removal. And this one I actually learned from one of my local consignment shops. And she had a water bottle with dish soap, like Dawn dish soap and water and just gave it a spritz and used a micro cloth, rubbed it really lightly. And she's like, why don't we let it sit for a minute or two? I'll ring through the other items. By the time we came back to the item, it had dried and the stain was gone. And I was like, 
wow, that actually works. She's like, this is literally what we use on all the items that come through the store. So of course, you know, I had to go get a water bottle and mix up my own. And that's what I use most commonly now. I will spray it, I will wipe it, and then I will hang it up to dry and wait till I'm done doing the other items. Usually by then it's dry and I can use it. If the stain is deeper, then I will probably wash it and toss it in the washing machine. I don't know, most times, this technique, it works pretty good and without having to discolor the item because I do have Tide pens. I don't always like using them. I have found in the past that sometimes they can discolor an item as well. I use my Tide pens very sparingly. <laughs> Next item that we're gonna talk about are dingy whites. Uh, I used to be so afraid to grab white items, white t-shirts, white dresses, things like that. I am no longer afraid if I pick it up and I'm like, uh, okay, maybe there's some pit stains or it just doesn't like look as crisp. Maybe it has a bit of a yellowish to it. If I'm getting it for a good deal, which most of the time of the color, if the item is discolored, you're gonna get a pretty good deal on it. I will actually soak it in the sink with a little bit of bleach water and I'll leave that overnight. And I'm talking like maybe one or two tablespoons into a big sink of water. You don't need a lot. Obviously when you put a ton, it's gonna leave that bleachy smell in the item and I don't like that either. After I am done soaking it, I'm gonna have to give it a wash in the washing machine. So I'll just toss it in with white towels because usually we have some white towels to wash during the week as well. And that really will spruce up an item. I have done this numerous times two items and they always come out looking sparkly and white and perfect to sell. Quick and easy. I feel like most people know that tip. It's kind of like been passed on through generations. <laughs> I hope. I feel like bleach is just a good thing for white items. And then the last thing that we're going to talk about is wrinkles. So not everyone has a steamer. Uh, steamers can sometimes be a luxury to resellers and if you're just starting out or you only have a few items, this just may be on your bucket list of things that you want to buy no worries. I saw this a long time ago and I have done it myself. So when I have an item that has quite a few wrinkles in it and I'm like, okay, hey, I can't take a picture of it. Sometimes I don't want to set up my steamer or my steamer is like covered in other things. Then I will toss it into the dryer and I will put a damp washcloth. So I'll just go to the sink. I'll wet the washcloth, not soak it, but just kind of make it damp, make sure I got some water on it. And I will toss it in the dryer with the item. I will also toss in a towel. I don't know why, but I find when you toss another item to kind of tumble it around in there, it usually will take out the wrinkles. You can do this on medium heat for like five to 10 minutes. And that does the trick. I think you need that humidity in the dryer to really work out the wrinkles. Like that is the key to doing it quickly and getting it just nice and smooth. All right, guys, these are my 10 tips. This is a really quick video. I just wanted to go over these and get them out. If you're looking for some ideas on how to clean your items, these are all ways that I do all the time and that work very well for me. Okay, I wanna know, what are your cleaning hacks? What are your tips? Drop them down in the comments. Let's share and grow together because you guys have like the best insight and some of you have like the sneakiest tricks, things that I don't even know either. So make sure you're sharing. I can't wait to hear. I'm gonna let you guys go. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in and I'm wishing you many sales. Bye.